We need to talk about this woman, Anna Paula Martins, because her medical case is breaking some fundamental rules we thought we understood about human biology in a really good way. Martins has XX chromosomes in every cell of her body, except her blood, which carries XY chromosomes. This is the first ever reported case of this happening. So how did doctors even discover this? After Mars miscarried in 2022, her gynecologist ran a standard karyotype test, which analyzes chromosomes from a blood sample. The results came back showing XY chromosomes. The doctors were so confused that they made her repeat the test, assuming a lab error, but then they got the same results. Here's what's making this medically puzzling. Everything else about Anna Paula Martins is biologically female. She has a uterus, functioning ovaries, and presents entirely as female. So how does someone who is clearly female have male chromosomes circulating only in their bloodstream? The breakthrough came from an unexpected detail. Martins revealed to researchers that she has a twin brother. That's when geneticists began comparing her DNA to his. And here's where it gets so wild. Listen to this. Martin's DNA in her skin, mouth, eyes, etc. is 100% hers. But in her blood, she is her brother. Only her blood was genetically identical to her twin brothers, complete with the same distinct genetic markers. She is currently the only known reported case of something called spontaneous chimerism, a rare phenomenon where there are two sets of DNA in a person's body. Chimerism does happen in medicine, like when you get a bone marrow transplant and those donor cells regrow in your own bone marrow. But spontaneous chimerism from birth is extremely rare. The researchers only found a handful of cases in animal studies, so how the heck did this even happen? Scientists think that in the womb, Martin's placenta made contact with her twin brothers, creating a connection between their blood vessels. This triggers something called feto fetal transfusion, where his blood transferred into her circulatory system. What's medically incredible is that Anna Paula's immune system has tolerated her brother's XY blood cells for her entire life without attacking them as foreign tissue. So her case could help us better understand transplant medicine cases. What's awesome is that Anna Paula eventually and successfully had her own baby. So the blood circulating in Anna Paula's body did not interfere with her pregnancy at all. The human body is truly amazing. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.